remember the state. Well, you got a running. Okay, you've got a hurdle. You've got the springboard when you're on the springboard. Okay, you have the pre-flight or when, when you're going from board to the table. Okay, you have when your hands contact the, the horse. You have then your post-flight. And then you have finally a pretty important one. What is it? You have your landing. Yeah. Okay, so you have seven phases to ball. In trampoline, one of the best things that trampoline does is it takes the last phases of ball and it really examines it. Okay, it takes the phases of when you're in contact with the table. Okay, it takes the phases of your post flight and your landing. Okay, now vault is a very, very fast event, so to be able to break it down is actually hard. Okay, and one way we do that is trampoline. We examine the post flight. Okay, so you're pretty clever. I would imagine that you would know that if you did a double front off the trampoline, what is that? That's a handspring front. Essentially, you're running from a springboard, you're jumping from the springboard, you're doing two somersaults and you're landing. Now, yes, I understand that you are taking off and you may be straight and you're using a block and you know, you're doing those things and you're correct. But at the end of the day, you're running, you're jumping from the springboard, you're doing two flips and you're landing. So if you don't know how to do two flips and land properly, consistently, you're going to have a really hard time learning hands for Yeah. Okay. So that's the relationship of vaulting. And training. They're really, really, really important relationships. If you wanted, wanted to learn a Sukahara, it would be beneficial for you to know how to do two flips with a half of a twist. Because that's basically what it is. Yeah? So that relationship is really important. Okay? What could a double layout backwards do? I'm sorry? Your Chanko layout. Yeah. Or a Sukahara layout. Very similar. Okay, because you're doing a somersault two times and you're landing in a direction that's facing the ball table. Yes, I understand you're not doing a half twist, but it's a long story short, you're just doing two flips in a stretch position and landing. Alright, so that's really important to understand. Now, how you enter certain skills and how you examine them, that's where it begins to get fun. I told you that we, we could learn about post flight yeah, and landing, but what about this table contact? How does that relation, how, how does that work with training? One of the things you can do on a trampoline bed with your hands is you can learn how to do plyometrics with your arms. Okay, and what plyometrics are is it's jumping over blocks, okay, or jumping, or a constant rebounding action, and you can do it very well. How many of you know a guy or a girl or you for that matter who can stand on this floor and bounce up and down for a minute and a handstand? Not many. How many of you know somebody who can probably do it on the trampoline? Yeah, you can probably get away with it. You can do quite a bit of it. Yeah? So you need to be able to have a lot of a lot of work on your shoulder development on trampoline. So we're going to give you some different activities that you can do. So you can start to examine how to use trampoline both for post-flight landing and also for the flight. Okay, so that's really important. Okay, and we're also going to examine it from not using a trampoline. Okay, but we're going to set up some drills so that you can play on. Uh, cheese mats and did you get the double springboards? I'm going to get them in a second. Awesome. So we're going to have double springboards. Now some of you do handspring folds or if you're doing a handspring, you're going to be working on handspring folds. Some of you do supercaras, so we're going to teach you how to do a cosmatsu. I'm hoping that we have some twist directions that are correct for them. Um, and then some of you are going to be working on handspring front drills and we're just going to do some different things. So we're going to set up a lot of different drills around the gym. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a drill, we're going to examine it, then we're going to go to the second drill. We're going to set it up, we're going to examine it, we're going to go to the third, and fourth, and fifth, and sixth, and by the end, we're just going to say go, and you're going to then go in a circle. Okay, and that's the way we're going to run it. So you're going to block off of the cheese mat, and you're going to land back in handstand here. May not be the best. And then flat back. The canyon. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. You understand? So you're going to block, hands, Hands flat. Yeah. It'll be good, Darren. <laughs> right. Now, who noticed what he did? Who noticed it? He blocked and just arched over. This is not a handspring like you would do on floor. The goal is to block and begin to take your power and move it which direction? Over? No. Up. up. That's vaulting. That's the whole idea. Move okay, Braxton. So when you run, I'll go, Braxton. Go, don't, don't worry. Okay? So watch, guys. You're going to block and go up so the, the block is more in front of your chest. Okay? It's more in front of your chest. 
Yeah, you're not gonna try to arch over. Yeah, oh, oh, you got a gap now. You gotta make it over. That's station number one. Everybody give that a try. Go ahead and try it. Yeah? Let's see. We'll have, we'll have Good try, good try. Not over, not over, upwards. Yeah? He's trying upwards. Right, 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 right. Thank you, get back in line. Yeah, that's excellent. Excellent, excellent. Good try, good try. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> good, Lucas. Good, man. Well done, team. Well done. So that you can jump in the air, roll over onto your back, and then roll down the slope. So you would land, and then you would learn your front fold by doing that. Very, very important drill. Okay? Like, uh, we'll, we'll put it up on top of that. Okay? Right. Good work. Hey guys, if it's not your turn yet, stand uh, on the side of the yeah. spring. That way you don't get not directly it. behind you. Take your face. Take your face the bed. Good. Flat, good work. Arms wide, arms wide, correct. You feel that? No. Nope, 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 nope. Arms wide. This arm down, this arm up. Yeah. Rolling down, correct, correct, correct. Go to drill number one. Lay flat, good. Arms wide, arms wide, arms wide. Correct. And go, one arm down, one arm up. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, correct, 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 correct. correct. Go to drill number one. Show me. Up, not over. Up, not over. Good. Stay, 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 stay. One arm down, one arm up. Correct. Good. Stay over. Excellent. Drill with some of you, and the other trampoline, you're going to try it by yourself. Okay, the whole drill looks like this. This is it in a nutshell. Look, on your back, one arm up, one arm down. Okay, that's it in a nutshell. Okay, but I'm going to use a demonstrator. So Either way, we twist. Pressy, which way do you twist, big guy? Stop for a second. Stop. 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 Lay down on your back. Y'all pay attention. Pay attention. Okay, fight, fight. Guys, this is your first position. Okay, this is the first thing. Which way do you twist? Okay, so you twist to the left. So when Preston goes, his arms are out to the side. And you need to know this because I don't want to have a big traffic jam because I have to tell everybody this. You're going to lay down like this. Okay, and he twists to the left. So his right arm must go down, his left arm must go up when I tell him to. Yeah, so on the count of three, that's all you're going to do. You show me that, just run up, one arm up, one arm down, go. Right, and go again, arms wide, one arm up, one arm down, go. Correct, that's all he does, you understand that? On the count of three, okay? Ready, ready? One, two, three, go. Right, now he didn't show that though, he didn't do that. He didn't do that. He just kind of flopped around and let me do the work. No, no. Okay, so when he goes, all right, you need to be in a pike shape. Stay in a pike, point your feet. Correct, stay in a pike. So when I lift your feet up, don't let me straighten you. Stay in a pike. Right, do you feel that? Okay, so arm side. Hands flat. You see that, guys? Hands flat. You ready on the count of three? Ready? Ready? One, two, three, go. Right, this is excellent. Yeah? He's going to go try that on that trampoline. Then he's going to go to station one, then station two, then he's back to me. Okay? 
Hey, there you go, Zach. Don't jump off. Don't jump off. I'm sure there's rules in there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Big, big one, guys, just real quick. This is our chair for you. Correct. Okay, you're ready. On the count three. One, two, three, go. Correct. Good job. And roll over to your belt. You got it, buddy. Excellent. Now go to one. Yeah, good job. Ready? Oh, which way? Lefty. Good man. Lie down. Which way, guys? Arms to the side. Arms to the side. Side. Okay, correct. When I tell you, you're a lefty twister, so you're going to feel your lefty twist. Okay? Your right arm goes down. Left arm up. You understand this? Okay? Just that. Yeah? Okay? On the count of three. One, two, three. Go. Right. Excellent job. Okay? Right here, lefty. Left. Okay, lay down on your back. Right arm goes down, left arm goes up on the count of three, okay? Ready? One, two, three, go. Go, go. Okay. Arms to the side. Correct. Do you feel that? Right arm down, left arm up. Show me that. Correct. Do you feel that? Again? One, two, three, go. That's all you do. I'll do the rest. You ready? Bouncing on the count of three. One, two, three, go. Right? Good job. Well done. Well done. Good job. Off you go. It's added together with this one, and you do this, yeah, after you bounce. So it's three quarters somersault to your back. That's key first, okay, and then you're gonna do your arm motion. And this is where it gets fun, because now we're gonna take this drill over here, which you were replicating, which you were trying, and we're gonna play with it. So come over, this one's the funnest one. Okay, so you're done. Like this? The same one you did over there. Like that, like that. Mm -hmm. Go away. Go. Go. What? You're watching in this one? You can do that. You can do that. There's no hand stand involved. Do it once, see if it hurts. Let's do the front layout to your back. Huh? Front layout to your back. Good, and then arms go right out. And then go. What are you lifting for right now until this line is back? Good, 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 good. Now, right over the moon. When you got something to your feet, you can try your feet. Same thing. Whenever the words are moving, you can try your feet. Give me a little bit more space. Give me a little bit more space. When he comes off, that's what he does. Good try. Good try. Drop the arm, man. Drop the arm. Drop the arm. There. Drop. <laughs> Learning to do here, one of the biggest concepts that you can probably have for post-flight twisting. Okay, Jordan, this is really important. This is, a, this is a huge thing. This is probably one of the biggest things that we could talk about for vaulting post-flight. Is you need to learn how to tilt twist. Okay, so you need to learn how to be in the air and tilt your body. Make one side of it shorter, and that's going to create yourself twisty. A lot of times you think of this when you're, when you're stuck on something, you push on, the, on, the, on it so that you can start turning. This is not that. This is when you're free in the air. You're floating like you're flipping. You have nothing to kind of make you turn other than being the body. So when you guys were doing this T-shape, and you put one arm up and one down, go ahead and put one arm up and one arm down, okay? What he's done right now, he hasn't really tilted his body. <laughs> He's got one arm up and one arm down, but he hasn't really tilted. What he needs to do is he needs to reach down and then reach up. Yeah, you touch your ear to your arm. That's how he tilts his body. You see that? He's got a little bit of a tilt now. That's what creates the turn. 
Because it's a, it doesn't matter whether you guys are teaching yourself to do this, to begin to wrap breathing. What you're ending up doing is this. You're ending up wrapping and tilting. It's the same concept. Whether you do it with straight arms, or whether you do it with bent arms, or whether you do it with like an aerial skier and you just do this. It makes no difference. You're tilting one side of your body. Okay? And that's what creates a turn. Yeah, so if you were somersaulting, just on in, all you'd have to do, if, if you could picture that I, right now I was just in a belt and I was somersaulting, somersaulting. If I wanted to twist, all I'd do is this. That's all I'd do. Okay? If I were somersaulting forwards, yeah, and I wanted to turn to the left, imagine right now I'm just tilting, I'm twisting, I'm going, I'm going, I'm flipping, I'm flipping, I'm flipping. Okay, and I wanted to twist to the left. What did I tell you to do? You lefties, I told you to do what? Drop your right arm down. So if I were flipping over and over in and I wanted to twist to the left, I'd just do this. If I were flipping backwards and I wanted to twist to the left, what would I drop? Other side. The shortened side of your body will always lead into the flip. So, so lay down on your back. Shorten one side of your body. Yeah. That's a shortened side of his body. His left side is shortened. Yeah. That's what you're trying to do. That's all you're trying to do. Okay. So that's really important. So everybody do this. Lie down on your back like Braden is. And hollow yourself so your head's off the floor. Look at this. This is why the relationship of mid-body was so important. You're in a hollow shape. With your arms to the side. Now you need to lay flat and tilt. And there's your side arch. Same idea. We just did all that torso work for this stuff. In order to twist, you have to have a very strong mid-body. That's the whole reason I did that mid-body connected More. with this lecture. They're there so go. connected. They're like brothers. Don't let your shoulders drop like this. Yeah. There's a reach like that. Then, so, it's round shapes. Head is up. Everybody lying down with T-shaped round. Head is up. Correct. Just like Jordan. Just not holding. Or Alex, rather. Just not holding your arms on the floor. Hold the floor, guys. And on the count of three, I'm going to clap, and I want you to lay flat with your arm up and arm down. So you should be hollow right now. You should be hollow right now. Not holding your hands. <laughs> hands are off the floor. Right. One, two, three, go. Flat. Yeah, You're flat. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you need to lay flat. So everything then goes flat. Right. Okay, think of it this way. You guys know this. If you're skinnier, are you going to twist better? Yes. Yeah, for sure. For sure, you will. Okay, so if you're wider, like we're in a T-shape, you're not going to spin so fast. Think of a figure skater on the ice. He's spinning. What happens when he brings his arms in? Yeah, he spins real fast. So you're very wide. You're very wide. When you tilt, you're a little skinnier. You're a little skinnier. Now you're really skinny. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, are you skinny if you're like this? Are you skinnier? For sure, if you're straight. Yeah. 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 That's it. All right. Excellent. That was great for vaulting, guys. That is huge. Because one day you guys are going to be doing maybe a kazumatsu, and you're going to take off of the table. You're going to be in midair, and you're going to have to do all these concepts. You're going to have to be twisting. Yeah. Or you're going to do it your chenko. You're going to block off. You're going to be wide out to the side, and then you're going to have to do all these concepts. Really important. That's the relationship. We are going to P-Bar. So maybe if you guys want to grab a small drink in the other gym and then we can...